Okay, today we're taking a look at 2021 Ironman South African champion Maurice Clavel's bike ahead of Challenge Roth. Here is his Giant Trinity Advanced Try. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a little better. Now the Giant Trinity has been an incredibly popular bike within triathlon and TTs over the years. Obviously it's taken numerous World Tour TT stages and also actually took the win with Timo Brax here back in 2014 and hopefully Maurice can follow suit here at Challenge Rot. Obviously this is the triathlon version of the Trinity with options for integrated hydration and storage, which we'll get onto very shortly. But first off, let's take a closer look at the front end. Now, in terms of the base bar, this is actually reversible on the Giant Trinity and you have a range of 40 mil by flipping it one way or the other. Obviously Maurice has opted for the more aggressive and lower position. And also Giant have what they call their Aero Vault system, which is their integrated hydration system, and that attaches onto kind of the head tube and stem region. Of course, Maurice hasn't got that on his bike. We'll be chatting to him very shortly to understand why and what his hydration setup options are. Coming up from there, and he has actually swapped it out for a somewhat old school aero bar setup, his profile design aero bars and pads with a a rather straight setup. We don't see that very often these days. We've got a lot of pros that are opting for more upright and the hands closer to the face. Um, and also there's no forearm hugging aero bar. So again, we will chat to Maurice very shortly to hear why that is. Um, he's got a very small Garmin uh, bike computer in the middle, which he's actually raised up slightly so it pokes up above his arms. And then behind that, he's just got a very standard profile design bottle cage, which is cable tied onto two profile design metal rods that go between the two aero bars. Of course, Giant and Calix do not have a disc brake version of the Trinity, or yet at least, but they do have that new Calix that we saw Christian Blumenfeld riding on at St. George, and of course to his sub seven attempt. And we understand that Maurice will be receiving one of those very shortly, at least ahead of Kona. So for now, he is on a rim brake version of the Trinity, which is very well well designed so we've got the rim brake tucked into and actually kind of built into the fork region just here and also below the bottom bracket talking of which maurice is actually sponsored by both giant and kdex although kind of part of the same company some athletes do tend to be sponsored by one or the other so this means that maurice is actually running the kdex wheel so he's got the four spoke wheel on the front which is really cool and the lovely disc wheel on the rear on those he's running the swalby pro one tt tires a prototype tire actually 25 mil both front and rear and he's running those tubeless in terms of the group set then he's running the SRAM force etap axis group set so he's got a 52 tooth chainring on front he's actually running that as a one by setup and then on the back to match that he's got the 1033 cassette and then obviously below that we've got the lovely ceramic speed osp w jockey wheel he's got a quart power meter built into the cranks into that chain set he's running a 170 crank length and on the end of those he's got the shimano dura ace pedals we actually don't see too many pros running these days. It seems like everyone's using the speed plate zero aero pedals. Now for a couple of final bits, but I think probably the bits that raise the most questions. So in terms of the saddle, he's got the Physique Argo saddle, which I'd say is more of a road saddle than it is TT or triathlon. So it's quite interesting. Storage wise, he's got the integrated storage system hidden behind the stem. So he'll be using that for gels and whatnot. In terms of hydration, this is the most interesting part. He hasn't got a bottle on the down tube here. He hasn't opted for the integrated hydration system on the front. He's got the cage between the aero bars and two behind the saddle. So I reckon it's time we bring Maurice in. Okay, Maurice, so thanks for joining us. So I, I, I've got to ask, hydration setup. It's nothing on the down tube. It's nothing on the front end. Uh, <laughs> reasoning? Yeah. <laughs> I won't be drinking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I'm running pretty old school, let's say, uh, with my hydration tactics yeah. for, for Roth. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have two, two bottle cages behind the saddle. Okay, we've tested this. This is uh, like, doesn't matter. It's easy to have it behind. And then the third one, I have it uh, in between my, my extensions. Um, and that's just a normal bottle. It's, it's not just got a normal straw bottle, or a nothing. Yeah, it's just really old school, normal, normal uh, bottle. Uh, and now the important thing, uh, 
which they also handle on the aid stations yeah. during the race. So um, this was uh, really important for me because, uh, yeah, we had it uh, last week in, in Ironman Frankfurt when Bradley Weiss got disqualified, blah, 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 everyone knows. Um, and yeah, the, the fact is that you're, you, you're going through tra um, aid stations really fast normally, um, and then you grab a bottle and then you have the bottle and then, uh, yeah, where to put the bottle. And so with my, uh, uh, with my setup now, I can uh, put it in the bottle cage and then I have hands free for another one to cool me down. To, it, I there, don't know. There yeah. is a lot to do in that short space, isn't it? If you're filling up a, a hydration system, um, yeah, it goes everywhere, then you're trying to chuck that exactly. and you just run out of time. And sometimes, sometimes the bottles are still closed, so you, you want to squeeze, but then they're closed and ah, uh, you have to open them yeah, and then yeah, yeah. yeah and then you you're passing all the the aid station and and you still are struggling with refilling so and that's why i choose this one um yeah oh really it's, interesting yeah maybe it's not it's not slower i don't think so no? but it's uh, i think more efficient let's say brilliant um, and obviously i have spoken about this already but you've gone for the relatively old school straight yeah. setup and, and really long as well um which is really cool um, in terms of um kind of the the storage system here so you're gonna have all your gels in there is that is that how you tend to fuel just through gels or do you put that in your your fuel in your bottles yeah, yeah i will do yeah my my fueling bottles are will will, will be behind the saddle okay yeah and here in in the in this smaller uh storage box here i put some some bars okay. um just to be sure to have enough uh with me um and yeah that's 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 my plan cool yeah, and in in between the extensions in front it's only water right okay yeah. and finally then so last bits of the bike setup so we've got your abbas aero TT helmets? Yeah. Yeah, because they have got a tri version as well now, haven't they? Exactly. With a truncated rear, so it's quite a mean looking, you look like a stormtrooper of that helmet. Yeah, on. it's it's looking it's looking fast. It yeah. is fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, now I'm feeling really comfortable uh, uh, with this with this one. Um, no, I mean, yeah, there's a good uh, ventilation uh, and yeah, still it's a time trial helmet made for time trials, yeah. uh, but still a good ventilation. So for, for me, it's the, the ideal, ideal helmet. Brilliant. And then awesome. the Bont shoes, which I'm a fan of. I've, I always like Bont shoes. Um, so yeah, this is obviously a conscious decision. Are you just a big fan of them? Or? Uh, yeah, um, a few, few months ago, um, I, I, th I said, okay, yeah, let's, let's gonna try these shoes because they look like a bit fancy and they look really stiff and I really like stiff, uh, stiff shoes. Uh, and so yeah, I bought them myself and uh, I tried them and uh, yeah, they're like crazy. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm really a fan of them, yeah. Brilliant. Well, best of luck for this weekend. Um, we'll be rooting for you. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hope you've enjoyed this bike. But one final thing, we've got the Free Hub sound check. Oh, <laughs> 